friend of mine sent this to me and I think it's absolutely hilarious and totally fucking delightful. Uh, I'm going to try to share this with you guys. It's Stan Lee. And some of you guys might know I'm a big nerd. Uh, I'm a big fan of Marvel comics. Uh, I used to collect Marvel comics a lot. Uh, my sister got me started on, on that. And then I was one of the only people that had a job. I hope the audio comes through this properly. Um, I've never tried it with the, with the setup I have now. So let's hope that it doesn't become a, a feedback nightmare. If it does leave a comment, if you can hear this video, uh, I'm going to play it. And it's, it's, it's just something from it's, it's called sessions with Stan and it's a, 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 a sound editor to work with Stan Lee uh, to do some voiceovers, right? Because Stan Lee used to do a lot of voiceovers for his video games and, and movies and things of that sort. I do think that um, Stan Lee was uh, genuinely just a nice person. Uh, I, you know, a nerd. Thanks, Mona. <laughs> But uh, I, I do, I do, I do genuinely think that Stanley was a a good person, uh, with a good heart. Um, you know, I when somebody becomes that big, it, it it you know, you usually start hearing things about oh they were a pain in the ass here and they were pain. You don't really hear a whole lot of that about Stanley. I, I do know that he and him and Jack Kirby had their issues. Um, and, and and I and that that seems to be the only thing that I I can recall, um, being something where I was like, man, that really fucking sucks to hear, that 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 these two icons in the comic book industry, um, went at it in in this way. So I'm gonna play this video. I think this is very funny, uh, and, and it's absolutely delightful I, I i got a i got a nice chuckling to put a smile on my face i hope you guys can hear it so let me know if you can hear it properly i'm rolling i don't say it because i don't say dirty words but it seems to me that can that you guys hear this so-called dirty word is probably the most useful word in the english language because it could be a verb, it could be a noun, it could be anything. Say, ah, that fucking thing, that's no good, you know. Or you can say, fuck you, that makes it a verb, right? And no matter how you, there's no sentence where you couldn't use it to great advantage. And I, I'm going to start a movement. I want to legalize and legitimize the word fuck. One that's of the great awesome. words in any language. I think we just need an excelsior. Excelsior! No, that's not good. Excelsior! Fucking fantastic. You get that fist up in the air, you weren't looking. Your head was down. I want your head up when I throw my fist in the air. I want you paying attention. I don't want you looking there when I'm emoting. Jesus. What the fuck's going on here? What the fuck are you all standing around for? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. That's awesome. I, I wanted to I wanted to share that with you guys because I found that to be um very delightful. He wants to have a uh, what is he, he wants to make make the use of the word fuck legal. Uh, like yeah, I, I I would love that. Do you do you know how many gigs I lost <laughs> because I cursed too much and and I just got the I got the word from fucking Stan Lee, Stan Lee the Stan the man Lee himself. Uh, that that we need to legalize the word fuck. Uh, and and make it mandatory for people to use. And he brings up a good point. There's, there are certain times where, you know, I've had to edit my comedy to do clean shows, but boy, the, the impact of a joke sometimes really is in the placement and the emphasis on the word fuck. Like sometimes that's just a perfect word for it, you know? And, and it, when you don't have that, you don't have the emotional... Uh, emotional weight that something like that carries. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really, I, I really dug that. Uh, shout out to Jason Howard who who sent me this video. Uh, one of the uh, members of Lori Creek. Him and his wife Jesse are part of Lori Creek, uh, fantastic band out of Norfolk. And Jason is the the front man for the New Mutiny as well. Uh, and they are putting out uh, new. 
Um, New Mutiny puts out new music uh, pretty consistently. So uh, check them out. Uh, good, good friends of mine. Uh, very like minded people. Uh, and they're and they're fucking awesome. This was this was just a fun thing for me to share. Um, hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to 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 address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, and that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.